Hi, welcome back to BusyBots. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to print a lawn sprinkler or a garden sprinkler from a file you can download from Thingiverse.com. To make the sprinkler I'll be using 3mm ABS filament. ABS is waterproof and it should be strong enough to, uh, to withstand the pressure and I'll be using three perimeters to give it a little bit of extra strength. The printer I'm using today is an Illuminatus from Trinity Labs. The Illuminatus is interesting in that it doesn't have any belts. It uses lead screws for the X, Y, and Z axes. Normally I keep the videos fairly short, or at least I try to. This time I want to show more footage of the printer printing, and I'll give comments here and there as we go. The first layers of the print are the most important. It's the foundation the rest of the print is built on. I run the first layer at about approximately 30% speed of the rest of the print to give the first layer a really good chance of adhering to the build plate. Right now it's running two exterior loops around the outside of the print. The purpose of that is to help prime the nozzle and get rid of any little problems that are uh, awaiting the very beginning of the extrusion process. Uh, it's also a good way to check the level of the of the build plate. If you look towards the top left of that uh, sort of diamond shape, you can see that it thins out on the top left corner. That's showing me that that corner of the build plate is too high. I've got a high spot there. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, I let this print run and it worked out fine, but it's something I'll have to adjust in the future. There's a little bit of a problem on the left hand side of the print which is due to that print bed being too high on the left side. You see how the plastic's a little uneven? If you look along the edges of the traces on the right side they're sharp and crisp with a well defined edge and on the left hand side it's kind of rippled. That's from too much plastic being extruded in too small of a space because the platform's too high there. This isn't enough to kill the print. It'll normally be covered up with uh, another two or three layers on top of that. It should even out. On a print like this, where this is going to go outside in the dirt, it won't matter at all. If this were a piece of art or a sculpture or something um, where every layer was going to be scrutinized, I would probably stop it right now, fix the problem, and start over. In this case, it won't matter at all, and this will be just fine. We're on the fourth or fifth layer now, putting down some infill. The problem's been smoothed over, and you can see that the printer's running much faster now that we're done with the first layer. That's a J-head hot end mounted underneath the extruder. Because of all the rapid movements, it's really important that the extruder is mounted firmly to the hot end. In my case, I had to use a couple of washers to shim up the connection. Otherwise, you get some wobbling around at the bottom of the nozzle.
If you watch closely, you can see the three perimeters being drawn. You can also hear the difference when it draws the outermost perimeter because it's set to run at a lower speed than the first two. Watch for the bridge in the next clip and also listen to the difference in speed during the bridge. 